What's up everybody, Keegan Lanier here with Keegan Lanier Media. And today what we're gonna walk you through is how to create or at least give the appearance of a floating submenu in your Divi navigation header. So the first thing we wanna do, as you can see, we're here in a demo zone, we're in the back end of WordPress, and we're gonna create a new page. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna open up pages. We've only got a few. We're going to add a new one and we're just going to create a blank contact page. The thing that we're going to do here in this particular tutorial is that we're actually going to import one of Divi's pre-made layouts. So you can see here where this is the Gutenberg backend builder. We want to use Divi Builder um, always. So we'll click use Divi Builder and while this loads, you can see it takes us into the front end immediately and it's going to pop up and give us the options. You know, what do we want to do? Do we want to build from scratch? choose a pre-made layout or clone an existing page. In this instance, we want to use one of the Elegant Themes layouts, so we're going to choose a pre-made layout. And in this demonstration, it really, it doesn't matter too much which one we use. We're going to stick in the pre-made layouts. That's where the Elegant Theme ones are. Let's just use Agency Layout Pack for this example. Is you want something with a big header that, like this, and we're going to pull this page in and use this layout. And the reason you want that big header is that we're gonna actually drop the opacity of the background menu all the way down to zero so that the menu sits on top of the header section of the layout. So you can see everything is imported now. It's gonna load up the, the Elegant Themes profile and then we're gonna be able to get to work. So you've got this nice, really big, pretty header and you've got the regular menu up here You know that looks pretty standard for Divi, right? So we're gonna save a draft and the one thing we're going to want to do is go into the theme customizer. So over here, we're going to drop down in the theme customizer. And this is where we're going to be able to edit the menu for Divi. So now that we're here in the theme customizer, you can see we've got our page loaded. We've got all the menus. And we want to go here to header, primary header. And what we're going to be working with here is this background color. So when you drop the opacity all the way down, now we've got a menu that's sitting on top and we want to change the color all the way up. So now we've got this floating thing going on and we want to do some adjustments to this, right? So drop down menu, got it white, drop down menu text, we can do whatever we want to do here and we can make it black. So now we've got this floating menu bar. And that gives you the menu above whatever header section you have. But then we've got to go in, we've got to add a little bit of CSS here. And so the class that you're going to be working in is the ID top, top dash menu and the class sub menu. And so we want to change a few things here in this class. And what, we, what I like to do, it just gives it a very cool feel, is change the border radius right off the top. So this kind of adds those little edges to it. And you can play with it to make it what you want it to be, whether it's 5 or 7 or 8. Or if it's you know 50, you can do whatever it is that you want to do. Actually, I think 7 looks really good. The other thing is that I don't like the border at the top. And so I do border zero picks and this right here you know we've kind of got what looks pretty cool right it's a it looks like it's floating the one other thing is that I like to add box shadow and you know it can maybe be this is the horizontal offset maybe come down five pixels vertically and then the blur 20 pixels and the extension on it maybe another 20 pixels and we can do 20% opacity on black. So now when you hover it, you see we've got this drop shadow around it that we might want to tweak up just a little bit. And maybe this goes to 30 and this goes to 10. You can just continue to play with it until it looks just the way you want. And if you wanted it to drop down a little bit more, you can do this. You see the shadow is going to drop even more. If we did 30, it would be even lower. Kind of liked it at 10. 
I think that looks really, really cool. And now we've got what looks like a floating drop menu. So it brings a whole different look to Divi. It really separates the page from what most people are used to looking at when they think of Divi. And the sub menus change completely as well. And you'll see if we go under this main menu and we wanted to add more pages here. So we can add this under the about us. And once this loads back up, you're gonna see, now we've got two drops, which is cool, right? It looks really, really good, very clean, very modern look, and you can make this on your site today. So we're gonna leave the code in the blog post of keyonearmedia.com. Make sure that you take this code, use it, for whatever it is that you want to use it for, show us in the comments exactly how you use it. We'd love to check out your site. We'd love to see exactly what you're working on. So we hope this has really helped you. Hope it's been beneficial. And we'll see you in the next video.